Hi friends! I am very excited about the technique I'm going to share with you today because it is right up my alley. I love all things vintage and rustic and farmhouse style and I'm going to show you how you can create the look of barn boards or shiplap just using our cardstock and ink pads. So without further ado, let's start stamping. I am using our Simply Score tool for this. If you don't have Stampin' Up! Simply Scoring tool, you could use your paper trimmer and just use the scoring blade on the trimmer. And I'm using Fairy Vanilla cardstock and I've cut this down to measure four by five and a quarter. So all I'm doing is I'm lining it up in the corner and I'm going to score at every three quarters of an inch. And I'm using my take your pick tool and I'm using the stylus end. There's a fine little ball and a bigger one. I'm using the bigger one. So three quarters one and a half, two and a quarter, three, and three and a quarter. So I'm not going to worry about that little bit on the end. And then I'm going to do another one, but this time I'm going to turn it this way and do the same thing. So now I'm just bringing in a piece of computer paper and I'm just lining it up against where the crease line is and I'm going to use this edge right here and I'm just going to have my ink pad tilted up. I just want to use that tiny little edge and I'm just aiming to go across where the edge of my computer paper is so that this will go into that um, groove that I made. So I'm going to pull this down do the same thing and I'm using the paper instead of my ruler because my ruler has some um, width to it and I, I don't want the width I want it to be as flat as possible to go against my paper and you'll notice I'm working more on that computer paper than I am the actual cardstock so that I can just gradually keep adding my ink You can just keep working at it and then move up to the next one. And there are different ways that you can do this technique, but this is probably the quickest, easiest way that I have found while I've been playing with it. And I really like the end result. And then the last one. Whoop. Not going to worry about that little bit of ink. Okay, that's what I have. And then what I'm going to do is bring in my blending brush and just go around those edges. Better to go with a light touch. You can always add ink, but you can't take it away, right? So just go with a light touch. Just work that in. Okay, if you want to, you can pull some of that in. Okay, and you could even do the same direct to paper that I did on that first one and just lightly swipe your ink pad across. So let me show you the difference. This is where I used the ruler and just kind of added more ink going down across. And then you can see the difference of how I get into those grooves more because I've used that flat paper as a guide. So two very different looks. And of course you could use um, soft suede. You don't have to use early espresso, um, but I really liked that darker look. So now, I want to decorate these. So I'm bringing in my Stamparatus. And for 
this card, I'm going to start with the stamp set Create with Friends. And I'm going to use Friends Forever. And this is great because it's photopolymer, so we can line this up perfectly. So I'm just going to put that there. And forever. I want to ink this up also with early espresso. I'm going to stamp it a few times because I want it to be very, very dark. Oh my goodness, it's looking so cool. Now I'm bringing in the new Eden's Garden stamp set and I'm going to start with these two um, images and um, the design on this card is one of those ones that I am just winging it, stamping as I go and just putting the camera on um, because I am just having the best time with this technique. I'm just picking those up and I'm going to use my soft succulent press down I'm gonna make a linen thread bow okay making sure I have lots of thread I'm going to wrap this around two fingers twice, bring in my third finger, wrap it around twice, and then I'm going to hold it with my thumb. So I have this hanging down and I have this hanging down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this off. So I have the smaller circles and the bigger circles. Okay keeping my two ends to the left and to the right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the circles, bring them into the middle, hold it down, and then this long string that I have, I'm going to wrap it around a few times, and then I'm going to tie a knot. Maybe. So I'm holding it down and then just tie a knot. like so okay and then all I do is I just kind of fluff these out and there's my fancy rustic linen thread bow and trim that I can save this for a different bow and then I'm going to bring in a glue dot I'm going to put this right about there and kind of tilt this let's see tilt this like that I think so now I am bringing in my mini machine here and I am having the best time lately with my baby clothes dies and all for baby stamp set I've been making some gifts and cards for friends and that's gonna be another video because I have absolutely been loving the little projects the little frames I've been making using this so I knew there were tiny little flower dies so I'm going to put my number one plate down my number two plate and these are the little flower dies there's two of them I only need one because I've already cut one out, or sorry, I've cut out two, but I just, I want to grab a yellow one, so put that on, run it through, perfect, so there's my little baby flower. All right, so I have my three flowers. This is Calypso Coral, and I'm bringing my stylus tool back in, and I'm gonna take my, oops, I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat, set these down, and I'm going to push 
that stylus right into the center of those three flowers. Okay, so now my flowers are 3D. Bring this back in and we will use glue dots. You know we have to put something pretty in the center of these and I'm thinking pearls because pearls would make this look vintagey and rustic right and I want to put this on a basic white um, card base because that kind of pulls out the white from the flowers. I'll show you what it looks like with Fairy Vanilla. It's also really pretty on the Fairy Vanilla. Um, so either would work, but for today's card, I'm going to put this on my basic white. Now for the inside, I have a piece of computer paper that I've cut to measure five, sorry, five and a quarter by four. And then I'm bringing back in Eden's Garden because I'm going to stamp my heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. Because I really think that's cute. I like that one. And I'm going to stamp that in Calypso Coral. in the colors that I used on the front and stamp it again without re-inking and there is that card done didn't that come out nice I'm so pleased with that I love it so I'm gonna do the second card now okay so I'm bringing my Stamparatus back in and this time I'm using the stamp set strong of heart I am just adding color um, using the soft pastel and um, I am just applying it using my blender pen. So some of the early espresso ink that I stamped the outline in of course is going to blend in because I'm using the blender pen but that's okay because to me that's adding part of that vintagey look. So I'm going to go back and forth till this comes out clean and now I'm going to go into my yellow And then blend those in. And work it into the red. Okay. And the green, I'm going to start with the lighter green, and then I can always go in and add dark if I need to. I don't think I'm going to need to, to be honest. Now I have decided I want to add a little bit extra brown on the background, but I want to use a different color other than early espresso. And I think I want to use cinnamon cider, to be honest. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to start with my blender brush and just swipe some on. Oh yeah. It's perfect. I think I'm going to come in with my Sahara Sand and swipe this across just like I did with the early espresso. Okay, now for this card, I'm going to use early espresso as my card base. And I also want to raise this up using Stampin' Dimensionals. 
I'm going to add another one of those linen thread bows. use my real red to stamp the inside and you know what I'm gonna take this heart <laughs> my Sahara sand let's make sure this isn't gonna be too dark here let's see okay I'm gonna use the second stamp here so we have that Stronger than you know. So I just had a thought. I want to add some splatters. So I'm taking my water painter and I'm just squeezing it until water comes out. I'm going to pick up a little bit of my early espresso. I'm going to move this first, make sure it's not too dark. Yeah, it's good. I'm just going to splatter some of this onto my card. I'm going to do the same thing over here. See, I just want a tiny little splatter. I'm going to do one more and I'm going to speed it up for you and this time I'm using um, basic white and this also measures five and a quarter by um, four so I'm actually for this one I'm going to start at the two inch mark and go right down the center and then I'm going to go two and a half three and three and a half and I'm gonna spin it around just because it's easier for me again two and a half three three and a half so instead of three quarters I've done half an inch so I am going to do exactly the same thing as I did on the first two cards but I'm gonna speed up the process
happy with how this card turned out. As you could see during the video, I used the um, Christmas season bundle, the stamps and dies. And then the sentiment was from a peaceful cabin. And then I had a couple of extra pieces left out. So I tucked them on the inside. And then the Merry Christmas is from the Evergreen Elegance stamp set. And I did put on some gold gems just to jazz it up a bit and also bring the gold out from the ribbon here. And then the last card that I have to share with you is the one that I made for this month's Leaders Project Sheet group. And again, I used the same uh, technique to create that barn board or shiplap uh, background. I used one of the dies from the um, Eden's Garden bundle and I cut it with soft succulent cardstock and I just cut it to make my little um, type of wreath there and more flowers. The sentiments are from the Ornate Thanks stamp set and the dots are from the Happy Holiday stamp set. And then the little heart is from the Strong Heart, Strong of Heart stamp set. I hope you enjoyed today's video demonstration. I had a lot of fun making these and I'm sure that you're going to have a lot of fun using this technique yourself at home. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload a new video and if you could hit that thumbs up, that would be awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I appreciate you. Happy stamping.